Hey guys and gals, let's build the Gryffindor House banner by Lego Harry Potter. This is set number 76409. I think it has 285 bricks and it retails for $34.99. And the set was provided to me by the Lego group for review. So it is your guys and gals lucky day because we're going to build this whole set in one sitting. And today, well, it's actually early in the morning. It's... Uh, February 21st, 2023. <laughs> and I'm feeling a lot better since the last time we met. So I think I'm done with everything now with the flu and stuff. Okay, so here we got the manual. Let's take a look at this. I'll show you how the build is broken down. And we'll get started here. So it's pretty much what it is. And in addition, we get ourselves a small sticker sheet. Doesn't look too terribly bad, but well, we haven't built it yet, so we don't know how bad it's going to be. And we got one of these 3D hologram things. I don't know if it works on the camera. I can't really tell. When I got it upside down, you can see where it kind of you can move around and stuff. So I don't know how this is going to fit in this build yet. So that's pretty much what we'll be doing. Now, for indexing purposes, let's begin with bag number one. And yeah, you won't hear any lawn mowers or leaf blowers right now. <laughs> it's too early for that. And bag two actually has the other two plates for this. I thought they went in that, so we need uh, two of these. And we'll get started on the build. Okay, I've been in a tutorial filming frenzy lately, so that's pretty much what I've been doing. And I'm starting to feel the pinch now because I'm doing more reviews than I am and then I'm re doing tutorials. So, and I have a bunch of set reviews and tutorials, both on the couch that I have been working on. So, <laughs> it's been pretty busy and I'm kind of tired. I'm gonna get this done before I have to fix up for work. So we're gonna see if we can get this done. This should be very quick for under 300 pieces. Okay, let's get Harry Potter's friendly face. He's got a suit and tie and stuff, so he's getting himself prepared for the office. And then there we go, not too bad. So he has a double-sided head and stuff, and he needs to hold the wand. Well, how long is that going to take? Now, this set has a bunch of new pieces in it, stuff that I have never seen before. So it should be a treat to do this set here. Now, I'm just going to break both of these wands free and discard the other piece of plastic. And we're going to have to fight to get this in old Mr. Parter's hand. Well, that wasn't too bad. So there we go. He's ready to use Reprendo and Wingando Leviosa and all those other spells. Okay. Now, let's hopefully get to the big stuff. And I think there's three minifigures in this set, too. So this is what we're going to be working on as part of the banner. And there's some pretty good pieces in this set, too. So Now... I have never put together one of these banner sets before, so this is going to be a first for me. And we'll see how well the quality is on these. And yeah, so as far as for tutorials are going, you know, everything's kind of slow in slow motion right now. I'm trying to get as many tutorials done as I can. Uh, I'm doing a different strategy this time, so hopefully things will be a bit better. And I think Jacob watches this channel, and I want to say thank you for commenting and noticing about the Sig Fig Easter eggs in my thumbnails on my main channel. And, you know, the reason why I'm doing that is, is to get rid of the post apocalyptic look. You know, the thumbnails kind of look dry and boring and stuff, so I'm. Change it up for just putting sig figs. 
I think he recognized Texas 132. And her and I are pretty good friends online, so I thought, well, we'll kind of put her in there. I'm putting a few other sig figs in there too. Uh, so I think that's probably one good way to show and say, hey, thank you for taking the time to watch my stuff. You know, and it makes things a bit better and not so dry. <laughs> so that's what I'm. That's my goal for this year. Is I'm going to redo all my thumbnails with sig figs. Which leaves to time. Uh, I don't know. I only got about, I think I only got five or six sig figs, and I think I'm going to be hinging sig figs off of active participants in our Discord server, or let's build it Discord server. So that's how I'm doing it. And Lego, can you please bring out a one by one palisod brick? Would be nice instead of using one of these round ones with it. Yeah. So, uh, back to the old grindstone again, since I have started work. And I don't know what it is with work, though. And this is where, when I'm on my, well, if you want to call it vacation time, my mind kind of goes dry. But once I start back at work, my mind just starts getting flooded with tutorials and builds. I mean, literally. So for me personally, I think I'd rather get started on that. No, I just remembered. Uh, I have a disclaimer in the description, so please read that. You know, <laughs> that may answer some questions. And how I, reason why is, is I bumped the tripod. All right, and this goes here. Well, maybe not. <laughs> It's a nice to good, it's a good little thing to have a little palette cleanser before you have to start looking at a screen all day. And Lego will pretty much help you with that instead of just staring at just some white text on a black background. And there was another viewer that, I'm trying to remember his name, but he's in his, I think he's in his early 50s. And he never, he didn't really have a lot of Lego when he was a kid. Didn't really play with it much. But now, since he, he watched the Lego Master Show, and now he's getting into Lego as an adult, kind of want to take a stab at building stuff. And hey, you're never too late to start, you know. And this is a nice little hobby. It's an expensive hobby, you know, but. Uh, especially if you're a software engineer or a, or a web designer or a, or a program developer or something like that, you know, it gets your mind away from the everyday grind of deadlines and screen time. That kind of thing. So I appreciate, you know, I always appreciate you guys watching my stuff, you know. A lot of big YouTubers, they kind of just treat you as a view. Here I don't like doing that. There's no need to to do that. Some people do. I'm not going to be one of those. Because at the end of the day, we all watch YouTube. <laughs> so there's no need to to do that. And oh, and yes, hi Janet. Since I know you watch these too. <laughs> You know, I like about doing these, I can be a little more informal here. I can just kind of have fun here. This is like the fun zone. Just build and stuff. And no, I don't really have any rants today. Oh, but I do have something to say. Anybody's been keeping tabs on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and a bunch of others. I think this decade's going to be the the rise or the fall of social media why am i saying that is because now you have to pay for two-factor authentication and some people say it's not the most safest method i don't know that's still pretty much the most common one i've been developing lately so i don't know it's not any cheaper than anything else i've had some say why don't we use an app or something well you know the algorithm for those, then it's easy to crack that. So, I mean, most people have their cell phones on them. 
But yeah, I think this year is going to be the fall of that. I, and I'm going to be honest, I don't even... Uh, I don't even bother with my Facebook page that much anymore unless I get comments on there. I try to stay away from Facebook. You know, I, I'm more leaning towards using Discord as the forum board than anything else. It's just, it's easy for me to talk to you guys on Discord versus, oh, wait a minute, hold on, this is backwards. Um, You're putting this in here, make sure that this hole is here. I was like, well, this doesn't fit. Well, that's how it fits like that. I hope we don't have to build another one of those in mirror form. All right. That's hard to say right now, huh? <laughs> let's let's kind of keep it with the show here. And, yeah, I mean, I just couldn't believe that you actually have to pay to get verified when I got verified on YouTube, I just talked to an administrator when they were wanting to discuss with me some stuff. And I was like, okay. And sure enough, they did. So you know you're talking. Now, this channel here is not doesn't have that on here. But, of course, I have my main channel linked to this one and vice versa. So if you're not sure if the channel is mine or not, um, check my main channel. And you should see a link, and it should take you back to the main. i got to get two more of my channels set up for that. I just... time. And I haven't really made any videos for these other channels. Like, I have one for my Scenic channel. I have one for... My Minecraft channel, which has pretty much died off now, and then um, I have a tech channel that I haven't done anything in my Let's Math it. So I gotta make sure everything's set up there. So if you can't get verified, that's one way of doing it. To me, they have the right idea, but charging somebody for security is kind of kind of stupid if you ask me and I'm going to be blunt about that. Yeah, that's probably why a lot of a lot of younger kids don't even use Facebook. I notice a lot of people who message me on Facebook or you know, you know people in their 20s on up, mid to late 20s. I don't really get any younger kids. Usually they go on Discord. It's like email. Who, who, who emails anybody anymore now? It's all about Facebook. <laughs> I mean, email is kind of like a dinosaur now. A lot of the kids want more of the true interaction, so they rather really use Discord. Speaking of Twitter, since they are... a matter of fact, they, they keep telling me to disable two-factor, and when I do, it's like, oh, we, you can't disable this right now. We're not going to let you do it. And I thought, well, I may have to defunct that account and not use it again. All right. So, I don't know. Oh, it's kind of weird. And like these pieces right here I've never seen before. And that's in brittle brown too. We're gonna have to be a little careful here. All right. And then this goes here. So yeah, I'm really glad though that these videos on this channel are helping some of you out if you get stuck on something. And I need to make more of a video talking about my goal. What was my intent of this channel, where I'm going to go with it now? I need to, to film that video, but with everything else kind of going haywire right now, I don't know. But I do need to do that. And we're going to start with our first sticker. And we have 2 by 4 inverted flat tiles that we're going to have to sticker up. So you know exactly what's going to happen to those when I'm done. Exactly. 
that stuff is going to get ripped off. And I did a, in one of the videos I was cussing in it, nobody seemed to really care, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna make it a habit of cussing in my videos, but still. Sometimes I get a little ticked off and I'm like, well, let's just rant about it real quick. And, and for those who are wondering, my dad's doing okay, but it's not still not looking good. And then this goes like that. So make sure that these are right here. Flip this this way and shove that there. Not sure exactly what we're doing here yet, but we are going to figure it out. Oh, what? So this, one of these tiles is not gonna get vandalized, which is this one here. I can use those tiles. This would make good for like backs of seats or something. So why are we stickering those up? Well, we're gonna rip those right off because that'd be good for that. And step 31 is just this. So I'm not sure. I think it's supposed to stand up like that. Sorry about the camera angle, but you know how it goes. And this goes here. Okay. Okay, so flip this around. Oh, wait a minute, we're not done yet, hold on. I gotta do step 33 next. Let me make sure I didn't skip step 32. Well, 32 was putting that on there. Yeah, sometimes even I make mistakes and that's quite all right. Uh, you know, I'm still waiting for a parts haul to come in. And it's been like two weeks since it's been placed. We all know how slow Lego is. And we were talking about part hauls and how slow they are. I'm like, yeah, you know, we were talking about this on Discord. And I'm like, yeah, by the time I get my parts and I kind of forget what I needed the parts for until I go back and check my tutorial stash, I'm thinking, wait, I have those pieces now. <laughs> I don't know what Lego's intent is for that. I wish they'd make everything fast, but they won't do that. Why don't we just stick the piece at the bottom while we were doing the one on the top? Yeah, so my summer vacation this year is going to be consisting of work, work, work. <laughs> Taking care of parents. It's, yeah. This is bound to happen. And doing Lego, of course. And of course, I gotta go and get my physical done. And go in there and just keep your fingers crossed and like, okay, I hope they don't find anything wrong. wait a minute okay you're gonna make the same mistake I did here it's supposed to be like this hold on <laughs> yeah it's one of the it's the early mornings again at least we don't have to hear the rum 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 or the you know the vroom 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 of the loud motorcycles or the lawn mowers and leaf blowers going off so if you hear everything else oh somebody had mentioned on one of my other videos about how they hear a low rumbling noise. That's probably my heater or my neighbor's heat pump thing. I can't eliminate all the background noises that are in these videos. Um, even when I get my big studio set up, I, I have a little room that's, I think it's like eight by 10. It's meant to be like a little storage room. I may end up making that into a little filming studio area where it's quiet. There's there's just a little window on the top. And um, maybe just, um, well, that window has steel shutters, so I can just keep those closed and then just, 
you know, when I film, the light would be more consistent. It's not like this room here where in the daytime it's just flooded with natural lighting. You know, I think we're going to need another one of these. That's exactly what it is. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, though, building in natural daylight or natural light is a lot better than a fluorescent light or an LED light. I'm under an LED light right now, and I'm going to be honest, I prefer to be outside doing these. And I've been kind of toying around the idea of doing that, is doing these outside. And we need sticker number two, which is this cushion seat thing. I wish that was printed on there, Lego. How dare you? And Yeah, I'm starting to grade on how hard the stickers are to put on. Sometimes it's just hard to deal, deal with it when you've got a disability, but that kind of thing is kind of a pain. There we go. And then that goes there. I bet we're building another one of those. Yeah, but I really appreciate you guys watching these. And like I said, more in, more feedback is appreciated. You know, I'm trying to make these better. We can, t you know, if you want to ask questions about my videos on my main channel, I will answer those here. Except, where do I get my parts from? You know, I, I mean, it's, if you're if you're on this channel, it's kind of obvious where I get my parts from. <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of trivial here. Make sure this goes here like that. Okay, and then this goes here. So I'm taking it that this is like a seat. So when we fold this up, it looks like a seat. That's not a bad idea to make seats, but those pieces didn't really exist back then either. So. Now it's possible. And of course this folds up for step 46 and then step 47 just attach it to this. Now, I'm not going to mess with that yet. So that's what it looks like there. Maybe I should just change the camera angle for you guys and gals. Um, you know what? Well, let's do that real quick. So remember the disclaimer video now, somebody had asked me a while back, you know, what do you use to set your, your filming table on? Like, what do you use? And believe it or not, under here is a stereo speaker with, a, with an 18-inch woofer, mid-range and tweeter, something I built back when I was a teenager. And I used to have a big loud stereo in here when I had roommates and well, that thing has now since been defunct. It just doesn't work anymore. It's got capacitor issues and and so I don't really, you know, listen to it and two, it's meant for old stuff like it takes the old analog connections and I'm not really willing to Upgrade it for Bluetooth or anything like that. Okay, we need a 2 by 10 here. There we go. Starting to look pretty good. So I think what happens is, is you're supposed to fold it up or something like that, but... Well, it doesn't fold up all the way there. That end does. Did I do something wrong here? No, no, not really. I'm looking at it here and making sure. Yeah, something's wrong here. Let me take a look. Um... Oh, wait a minute, you know what, hold on. This is not right. That's where that's supposed to go, whoops. Yeah, this thing's gonna, I hope this is not gonna be one of those sets that just is so brittle it falls apart when you look at it. Of course, we're not done with it yet, though. 
depends on the order you watch these in. Uh, I did a review on one of these earlier sets, and it seemed okay when I built it until I moved until I moved it, and it just completely disintegrated. So it's like maybe I'll have to tack on a follow-up video on that too. There we go. Now you can see a little better here. I did find some lighting materials and some electric lit. I can make my own uh, studio lighting. I'm going to do it yourself here, guys. I'm not going to go out and spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on lighting when I can just make it myself. So I'm going to kind of make my own studio lights and stuff like that. I have the materials to do it, so I'm going to do it. And just kind of get things done. I'm going to stick this on here first because it wants me to put a sticker on a shield and this thing's already kind of fragile as it is. And that requires sticker number four. And let's see here. I'm going to start with the pointed in first. And yeah. So far, I'm, maybe I need to put stickers on when I'm half asleep, because it seems like you get them on better when I'm sleepy. And so it goes like that. Okay. So indeed, this is what I did in one of my manuals, is I did this. Okay. And I actually, I actually have something similar to this, too. What I do is I try to keep my books as the look and feel of Lego. So you know it's going to be pretty much the same quality. And we're going to slide that off to the side there. So what am I going to have? Ooh, excuse me. The Michael Myers house done, I don't know. Um... You know, after I just got done with filming or editing a bunch of videos, I got an offer for a bunch more sets coming in. Um, Lego is so kind, they don't tell us what we're getting half the time. It just says, they give us the Lego and a set number, which is like, what good is a set number going to do us? And you don't know anything about it until you actually get the stuff in. It's easier to put these on here first. So, you know, it's going to be at the point we're missing a round brick here. It's a tan one. Well, let me go find it. So, it's going to be at the point where I'm going to have to turn down sets because I want to do more tutorials than this, you know. And, you know, this is a good source for parts, but what good is having all the parts when you can't build what you want? You know? uh, so, I got to really think on that one. Do I really want to say no to something free? Or, well, not free, because i got to do the paperwork on it. Yeah. So I'm trying to think here. Um, there's not a whole lot. There's there's not a whole lot in this set lot they want to send me. So it's not too bad. But I need to really think on that, because I really want to get into my own builds. I did have a... I did have a viewer ask me though, you know, why don't, if Lego send you all this stuff, why do you still buy parts? Because the stuff they send me is not in the quantities I need or the type of parts that I need. So that's why I have to constantly buy this stuff, you know. And this goes on here. Now, since I have been building this, I don't know if this would be a family build or not, so I don't know yet. I'm hoping this is a family build. Uh, family builds are always cool. They're, they're just they're built where 
two more people can build. Well, if I can get my friend to get into Lego, it would be nice. And her and I can just have fun putting this stuff together. But alas, no. <laughs> it would be nice, though. Matter of fact, she's asleep right now. She got off work and she gets off work and two hours later I gotta get up. <laughs> yeah, and this goes right here. And it's like, ah, uh, back to the old grindstone. Okay, this book so far has a lot of, well, this is not the book, but the build's got a lot of sub steps. So you've been forewarned. It's almost every page has got a cutout, you know, in terms of where to start. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, it goes like, oh, this is backwards. Okay, you got to be very careful with these. It's uh, that only that's reddish brown though, but you could put stuff on backwards too. That's why I bent. That's why you saw that I bent this corner here. And it just didn't fit because, yeah. Boy, this really is flimsy. I hope this is going to strengthen up because if this is going to be a flimsy build, I rarely ever give a failing grade for poor build qualities. So, Lego, please don't make this be the first. <laughs> I, I mean, I want to make this a really good, robust build. All right. You see how I'm bending it, bending the hinge? That's just to ensure that I can fold this up. Now, this is very flimsy here. I mean, that's uh, not really good. Matter of fact, this chocolate bar is the only thing that's printed in here. And it looks like it goes on there. So you hang your chocolate up on there. We get this nice sword with this little crystal inside right here at the top. So pretty cool and looks like it goes in this holder here well it's trying to fall out okay And then there's a broom that goes right above it right here. What is this, the utility closet? <laughs> and that's it. But we have a lot of remaining parts. So I don't know. Let's see here. We have these here. I mean, but there are a lot of little pieces. Usually I don't ever see taps, but that's a lot of little parts there. Which doesn't bother me because I can always use those, huh? Unless I'm missing one on the bottom, but no. Well, that's it for, for bag one. Now we're going to see what's in bag two. The last one, I think, was 11. And here's bin two. I lost one for some reason. Okay. Now, remember, we were short one round brick, so it could have rolled in here when I was doing the part thumb. So we're going to need two plates in this little insert here. So there's that. And then the plates are already in there. So we got to do two minifigures. They just cram them right on the first page and say, here, have at it. So I'll put that over there right now. And let's start, let's start with the boring stuff first. We'll work our way to the fun stuff. Well, I found parts, but none of these parts match. And I need to get some of that glass that's kind of got the bow on the top, but I don't know yet. All right, the black pants doesn't go to this. We're going to find all the parts eventually here. I don't know these characters' names. They didn't even have them printed anywhere, so I'm going to have to look them up. If not, I'll leave them as whatever I call them. 
I think a lot of people are buying this strictly for the figures. Like, she's got a double-sided head. So. It's nice to have actual flesh tones of minifigures. And yes, that's a flesh tone, and that's a flesh tone. Okay. And the black pants go on him, but he doesn't have hair. Well, no, she's done first. She needs a sand, a sand yellow wand. Yeah, so at least about the first 40 hours of the video, we're putting together the minifigure. So it takes forever to do these first. Okay, so she's a righty too. Like I did read something that they're trying to do more flesh tone minifigures now of different ethnic backgrounds and stuff, which is cool. I want to see that anyways because I'm going to be honest, I'm tired of the, and I can't even get the wand in her hand, but I'm kind of getting tired of the yellow minifigures. There we go. Okay, I got her wand in. Now uh, let's figure out what happened to your hair. And I got this, I got a bunch of these type of wigs here and that's like dark brown. And then he needs a wand. Um, that's another one of those brittle brown wands. I think the next one we do of this is going to be a daytime build. Mm. Yeah, because you could spend, I can spend all day here just trying to fight with getting this in his hand. And at least the first 10 minutes of the build of each bag is always going to be figures. They show the wand here, but I can never get it down this low here. So that's about as close as it's going to get. I don't want to spend five hours trying to get the wand in his hand. Okay, so this gentleman and this lady are done. Now, we need to do some candle holders. Let's get on to those. And we got to build two of them. Well, I found the studs, but where's the little wine glasses? Oh, where are you going? And stick that there. I did get another comment on my main channel. Don't you ever get tired doing reviews? Honestly, yes. It's when I do tutorials, they're like a treat. It's it's like a palate cleanser. You know, you get to use your imagination to explore what you want to build. And I'm missing a gold wine glass. Well. I don't see it anywhere. I may just have to wait. And I just get tired of, you know, following somebody else's ideas or dreams. I like to build my own stuff. So, I don't see the other wine glass. Um, so far I'm missing a round brick or missing a wine glass. Here's this round brick here, so this probably is it. Now, was there one in the spare parts bin? Yeah, it's telling me to build two of these, but well, we're going to just skip it. I don't want to spend 17 years trying to find it. Plus, I'm tired, and I don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> Checking on the floor. Oh, I meant I see it has to roll right underneath the table. That's where it wanted to roll off to. There we go. Now we got these candle holders then. Well, they're not too bad. Okay. Okay, now we gotta build more small stuff. So we gotta build two chairs or two um, comfy chairs. So start with this. And stick a tile in the back. But since there's two of them, we're going to do these both right now simultaneously. Just so I can get them done. 
Now with this new Lego stuff that's out, you could do all this cool stuff now. You know, uh, we have inverted tiles and stuff, so you could really kind of go all crazy. That's probably why a lot of us adults are getting back into this now. When we were kids, we didn't have all these cool pieces. Well, now as full-blown adults, we have not only we have the cool pieces to build from, but we have we have full we have full-fledged careers now that we can do this. <laughs> We can swing it out here a bit. And honestly, though, that's not a bad idea for chairs. This is what you'd see like in like in a waiting room. So, you know, but we didn't have all the inverted tiles. Of course, you could just build this with regular tiles, but see, they got the little fake legs on the bottom now. So, yeah, I mean, for what these are, they're pretty good. And I see something that's gut-wrenching coming up. But there you go. These work good for, like, a modern living room. Just change the color out to black, gray, or white. And there you go. So we're going to make a table out of this. I saw this 4 by 4 flat tile in reddish-orange. And I thought, well, this doesn't... Or, yeah, this is... Oh, this is dark orange. And I thought, okay, this would be cool for, like, wall panels and stuff. Okay, so it's like a little coffee table. Sadly, they want to make it a chess table. So, or with a check, with a chess board on it. So, guess what? I got to stick, put the sticker on here. So, after I'm done reviewing, that is going to get pulled right off. And, of course, I have to drop it on the ground, like with everything else. And... Surprisingly, I got that under straight, and the sticker is pretty close to the color of the tile. And that's it. Okay. And that's all the accessories we have to make. I mean, just with that setup right there would be pretty cool for a little waiting room. Or a sitting room. So, every Harry Potter set I've ever had to do, they got good stuff for furniture. So you can get a good, some good furnishing builds out of them. Take this, and we got to set this back here, like that. Now you're going to have to really uh, multitask and work that in there. And okay, now we're starting to do a lot of stickers on inverted tiles. So I don't. Yes, I really am getting squirmy on doing this. Unfortunately, I have to do it for the review. Somebody asked me, why don't I just leave them off? That's part of the review gig. But once after I submit my paperwork in, that's it. It gets ripped off. <laughs> I don't play games. I can use those for something else. So we got this right here. Make sure I put that on there right. There we go. I just wish Lego would make different sizes. I'd like to use those for ceiling tiles. Okay, we're making that into a picture frame now. Why don't we just use some regular 1x4 plates instead of these weird ones with just the studs because you get more bite on those plates than that. I'm not sure. I'm making sure I'm recording the audio. <laughs> Honestly, the audio sounds a lot better than the camera. The camera's quiet right now. Oh, I tried taking apart my camera to see if I can fix it. The camera is so old. Okay. I started taking it apart, and the case is the housing for the camera is starting to crack. <laughs> and without the service literature, I really can't get it apart anymore. I can see inside of it, but I couldn't tell what was making the noise. And the microphones are so buried on a circuit board, I couldn't even get in there to... Wow, that did not want to go together. I couldn't even get to it so I can disconnect them and put the microphone... Like, put a jack or something outside. So, yeah, it was just... It was one of those things. Oh, you want me to put a sticker on that glass? I doubt that's transparent. That would have been cool. Well... And I'm going to be blunt honest with you here. 
getting stickers off of clear pieces is a complete pain because you could really s destroy these. So unfortunately, I have to put this onto here. And that's sticker number one. So yeah, it's a... Uh, it's going to be a shame. Although somebody had told me to stick some tape or something behind it just to barely tack it on. Let me start with the bottom first. This is more like a sticker book than anything else. At best, as the set may get, would be a seven. Because I can't even get this stuff on straight. I mean, that's... It's supposed to be a cheesy set anyways, and this is supposed to pop in here. So, it would've been nice if this was printed here. Yeah, we still have, oh no, we're done with that. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that anymore. And then, yeah. Yeah, so you know what, you guys and gals, if you're watching this and you're you're in your you're around my age or you're in your fifties or whatever, and you're hesitant on getting into this hobby, don't hesitate anymore. Just get into it. It's expensive, but unlike like building model ships or airplanes, if you don't like what you're building, you can rip it apart and build whatever you want. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can tear it apart. So it's not like building a model airplane. You glue it together and that's it. You you can't do anything else with those parts. Here you don't have, you can glue it together. We still have not fixed this area here yet. Hopefully we'll get that secured up. But you don't have to glue any of this stuff together. Oh, now we're putting it all together and there's no glass on those two. Yeah, today was in the upper 70s. Because guess what? Tomorrow will be, I don't think it's even gonna reach 50 because we're having a big storm blowing in. Out here when there's a storm blowing in, when it's warm outside, you know something's gonna happen. I forgot to put these on top here. So where I'm at, if it's in the upper 70s and the next day it's in the 50s, don't heed that warning because that is what's going to be alrighty and so far the sticker sheet has not been bad in this set it wasn't too bad one of those I put together I had to I had to literally put them on a door eight times that was a mess but now with this I don't have to do that and I got a new idea for a house that I want to build I just need to do it and I'm, I'd like to squeeze a house out probably and I'm hoping in April houses are different I don't have to build a tutorial you know so, building a house doesn't require me to have building instructions. I will eventually. But I think what I'm going to do, though, when I build a house in the in not so distant future, um, is I'm going to build it. And when I'm done doing the tour of it, I'm going to keep it up for a, maybe a week. And then I'm going to tear the house apart. Well, deconstruct it and write up a building guide instantly right then and there. So if you are on my Patreon or if you request it on Rebrickable, you can build that same model too. My houses always come unfurnished. But a lot of the furnishings that you have been seeing out throughout the years may appear in this house. So, and some new stuff too. The goal eventually is, especially like with the Amityville Whorehouse, if 
any of you guys and gals have purchased that, I'm going to update the building guide on there to where, well, not update the building guide, but I'm going to tack on smaller guides so you can build the furnishings. And yes, it'll be part of the it'll be part of the package deal too. That's my intent. I don't know if I'm going to go through with it or not. It depends on how complicated it is. But you know what? I hate to think this is going to be hanging on a wall because this is pretty fragile. I could just see this thing come crashing down and it just shatters in pieces. Oh, uh -huh. I hope not. I'm missing another tile here. First, before we start pointing fingers. Oh, it was already on there. Never mind. It's like, before we point fingers, let me take a look. You're supposed to hang this. And it's pretty lightweight for the most part. But... Okay. I've never seen that before. And, then, and this thing here is kind of cool. Because, as you can see, light can pass through this. Hard to show it on the camera, but see, like right there. Let's do a close up of the fire. See, here's the stairs. These were always cool when I was a kid, they were kind of magical. And then, what we're going to do here is you're just going to drop this in here. Well, drop it in on these like that. Okay, and light will pass through that as you can see. Too bad they don't have something for that window. would have been better, but there you go. And... Okay, now you want to lay this thing down. And... Fold it like that. So I think this is what we're doing here. Oh, i got to get the Gryffindor banner thing going here. And I'm going to take it that this is probably going to be a mirror. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this on both sides. One way to tell is by looking at the book. Oh, the book is absolutely of no help. Well, where's the box at? Here's the box. Looks like it is mirrored. And yes, this is printed. You know, I mean, I wish that wasn't printed, but then again, if I want to build a Harry Potter mark, then I can do so. Okay. Well, that don't go there too big. Now, there's a new piece in here, a new type of tile. That's actually a two by two with two corners chopped out. And those work with those two by two round flat tiles too. So these would be great for making mosaic floors and stuff like that, like terracotta floors. Okay. All right, so I'm taking it, this one is probably unique, so I'm gonna shove that there. And you're gonna have to piece together all those little tiles right here. There's another step before it, but I'm going to go off this one here. So I'm just going to start very slow. Maybe just keep my finger on a part here. And we're going to do this. Now I'm going to look at the box real quick. And you can see we have a repeating pattern. I'm sure this tile is different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat this pattern now. Now you don't have to do that, but just for brevity of the video, I'm going to go ahead and do it now just to get it out of the way and kind of get things going here. So I'm using this. That's what they use that there too. So that's pretty clever that we're using these new type of tiles for that. You know, you could, you know, you can't really shove those in there. Lego and their creativity on the new parts too. <laughs> Oh, yes, I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos, though, but I'm looking for a brand new video camera. This one here is about had it, and I'm hoping to, making sure we're recording here, I'm hoping to find one soon, 
and then when I find a new one, I'm going to tear this one, tear right into it, just go ham into it. Um, so there's a couple things broken on it. First off, the buzzing noise for it. I think it does something to do with the autofocus or something like that. Can't figure out how, what's wrong with it. The second thing is I can't plug it into the USB drive to transfer stuff over anymore. So I have to transfer everything from the hard drive over to a memory card. Well, at that point, I want to just leave a memory card in there. So I decided just to do that. And with the memory card, I can just pull the memory card out of the bottom. It requires me to take off the tripod mount to do it. You know, so it's kind of a pain, but it is what it is. Alrighty. And it tells us to do the same thing, but this goes in the middle here. Okay. I'm missing something. All right, I'm missing a piece that goes right here. Okay, I knew I saw a, sep a second one in there. All right. I mean, I'm, looks better if it did. That's exactly what we're doing. And you stick this right here and yes the manual just shows you like that <laughs> let's make sure we get the lion correctly installed and it's supposed to be halfway there so just stick that right in there and uh, i think that's it and yeah okay so indeed this piece was in bag three so i had an extra one well, no, not really, because I already had it. We had, this is all we have remaining for bag two. And that's what it looks like closed up. So this thing is pretty thin closed. So, and it's meant to hang on a wall. I mean, I wouldn't. And I can actually show you these. Let me make sure here real quick. So that's what we're doing there. Because by the time I post this, they all should be released. Okay, yes, and I have to pre-screen everything before I show you anything. So basically this is what it is. I'm meant to hang on a wall. And of course you can open it up. And you can set it up like this. And we can set up the furniture here. And put it by the fireplace. And then here's our chest board. And then we have the Battle of the Wands. So this is how they play chess. They'll just use their wands to move everything. Everything's... Now, here's the problem that I have with this being flat tiled. Many figures don't stay in the seats very well. My newer tutorials, I never do that anymore. Let's have this lady here take a seat. If we're sitting there, so, you know, that kind of thing. And where do the candles go? Let's take a look at the back of the box. In fact, the candles just sit here. You can just set them anywhere you want. So... And that's pretty much about it. So, is this a playable model? Let's first let's dive right on into the the build experience. You know, for the most part, it's not a bad build. Stickers were, you know, I would consider mild. That's not too bad. Um, they weren't really challenging to put on. It was just, you know, I don't like stickers. <laughs> uh, so the build experience to me was just kind of average with the set nothing just there's no really no wow factor it's just average um the build quality yeah i don't know i just i think it's meant to hang on walls they were trying to keep it as light as possible it feels like there's not enough strength here on the top okay um and if you're going to play with this, it's got to sit on something flat. 
which leads to plays, you know, play value. Uh, I think this could be played with. It does have some of the furnishings and stuff, so I bet if you set it on a flat surface, you can play with it. If it's hanging on a wall, I wouldn't wouldn't recommend it because the stuff you wouldn't have anywhere to set it at. So for play value, I'd say it's probably like an average type play experience. You know, I think what's going to be worth out of these is the minifigures. And could you drop this in a city? No, it's not meant to be dropped in a city. Could you do a mock with this? Maybe you can take this interior and elaborate on something into your own builds. Overall, though, just looking at this, it just seems rather incomplete and structurally not sound, for you know, for my liking. Oh, man, I'm getting tired, but I have a long day today. And they claim it has the 3D images, which is what's all in here. So, yeah, I think this could keep a young kid or child entertained for probably maybe, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And after that, I'd see this getting shelved. But for a Harry Potter collector, I'm sure this would probably be a good little, a good little shelf queen, a shelf hog. But for my experience personally, it wasn't too bad of a build. And it was, it's not, not hard, not strenuous. This is something you could do in an afternoon, just something to pass the time away. And I think I said it retailed for $34.99. Let me check real quick and make sure. And yes, I do have it written down on a spreadsheet here. And indeed, it is $34.99. So for 280 some odd bricks um for what you're getting it's just a bit overpriced you know so i must say it's an overpriced set at that um i think the minifigures are what people are going to be scarfing after in this hologram thing in the back but for the most part though it just i don't i'm just not feeling this set so tell me what you think about it you think it's worth the 34 dollars 99 cents to me I'd say no more than twenty twenty-five, but thirty-five. Mm, no, no. For what you're getting, I mean, it's got an average build experience. I wouldn't say. I, I, I'm going to be honest. The price is just a bit steep for this. But tell me what you think in the comments below about this set.